This is the second episode of the webinar Measuring Data Management Maturity and Performance. In this episode, I'll demonstrate an approach to measuring maturity and setting up key performance indicators at the strategic level. This is the third episode of the webinar Measuring Data Management Maturity and Performance. In this episode, I'll demonstrate an approach to measuring maturity and setting up key performance this is the second episode of the webinar Measuring Data Management Maturity and Performance. In this episode, I'll demonstrate an approach to measuring maturity and setting up key performance indicators at the strategic level. We will start with the strategic level. Let me briefly introduce the model of data management. I will present the orange data management model I use in my practice. Data management is a company's ability to safeguard data assets and get business value from them. Data management does it by designing, implementing, and operating data chains. Data management is a multidisciplinary capability. It can be broken down into a set of sub-capabilities. These capabilities play different roles in delivering business value. The first type is core capability. These capabilities ensure value delivery to business stakeholders. In the case of data management, the core capability is data lifecycle management. This capability transforms raw data into meaningful information and by that delivers value to data management stakeholders. Then we need to have a set of capabilities that define a direction and create a framework in which data management operates. These capabilities belong to the strategic level. These two capabilities are business architecture and data governance. You can also add some other capabilities to this layer. The third top, uh, type of capability is supporting. They enable core capabilities. We discovered multiple capabilities that enable data management by designing and delivering. This relates to data modeling and different types of enterprise, architecture, data application and technology, security, data quality, and so on. So let's, uh, and uh, furthermore, you need uh, a set of policies, processes, roles, IT tools to enable capabilities themselves. So let's discuss how you can measure data management maturity at the strategic level. You define that you need to develop a data management strategy within a three-year perspective. You define several maturity levels. The orange model explores five different levels, doesn't exist in formal and design and implementation and operational. You can see them on there below the slide. And uh, I also use different colors to indicate these levels. You define the key data management capabilities required for your company. Then you assess their, uh, their current maturity level. You see it as a status as is. And then you define which level these capabilities should reach in the specified periods. period. This is to be uh, on the right side. The analysis between current as is and future to be statuses, we call a gap analysis. Based on this gap analysis, you define your action plan. In this case, it would be a data management strategy or roadmap. The orange data management framework recognizes three types of key performance indicators at the strategic level, leading, financial, and outcome. I discuss these three and other uh, types of KPIs in one of my courses published at the Data Crossroads Online Academy. In this Webinar, I'll demonstrate an example of a leading strategic KPI. A leading KPI is a measure that identifies long-term trends and predicts successful future outcomes of a data management initiative. If a company has decided to set up a formal data management function, it can define the following KPI. Data management becomes an integral, uh, integral part of business operation within two years. 
the function should become a part of organizational structure and include data governance, data quality, data modeling, and enterprise architecture. The Orange Data Management Framework recommends that a KPI meet the SMART requirement. So when you see SMART, it's uh, the some sort of abbreviation for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. You can see it uh, on the bottom of the slide. So when you set, uh, set up your KPI, you must check it before approving. Let me demonstrate how to do it, taking into consideration this example. This API is specific as it outlines the scope of the data management function by listing the lower level functions and or capabilities. It is measurable. If the company doesn't establish some capabilities, it will know to which degree it failed. The company also should assess in advance whether this KPI is achievable. Realizing this goal requires financial resources, and the company should estimate its ability to finance this initiative. The company will also assess the relevance of this KPI. This KPI is time-bound, as we defined, two years as a deadline. If you want to benchmark your results with companies worldwide, you can download the recently published Data Management Security Assessment Review. Data Crossroads uh, uses a review of data management uh, maturity assessment yearly since 2019. This review is based on the results of a data management maturity scan that was uh, performed anonymously. This yearly review has the following goals to demonstrate the current status of data management among companies worldwide, to assist companies in comparing their performance um, with their peers in the industry, and provide a comparison between data management maturity levels starting from 2019. Sorry, it was this slide. And uh, you can measure the maturity level uh, using this free scan. As I mentioned, the scan is anonymous and includes 20 questions and requires 10 minutes. So if you're interested, you can perform it after, or after this webinar. Let me show uh, some results that describe trends in data management maturity in 2022. There are a few general conclusions made within the study. 100% of respondents have some form of data management in place. The analysis had the following distribution of participants by maturity level, you can see here on the left side. 40%, 14% reached level uh, two, 55% reached level three, uh, level four has been achieved by 25% of participants, and level five, the highest level, is only achieved by 7% of participants. The most developed data management capabilities is the data management framework, while the least developed capability is data uh, quality. Based on the comparison results, you can see that their uh, audience of 2022 seems less mature uh, compared to the previous year. More companies have maturity uh, level three, but the number of respondents with maturity level four and five uh, has decreased. The review also demonstrates results provide common data management capabilities. These are data chain management, data management framework, or data governance, data modeling, information systems architecture, and data quality. The maturity levels of each sub capability mentioned uh, above have uh, worsened slightly compared to 2021. In many cases, the number of participants at the three lowest level has increased, and the number of participants in the capable and effective levels has decreased. Data Crossroads has opened an online academy. It offers multiple free webinars. You can watch the recording of this webinar on this site using the provided link. You can also find paid courses for data management and non-professionals. So if you want to know about measuring data management maturity and performance, please visit this site. If you are not yet connected on LinkedIn, let's do it.